name is Konstantin Peshik. I live in Houston, Texas. I got into skydiving about 10 years ago. The opportunity presented itself. I fell in love with it. My name is Dalton Swan. I'm from Texas. Uh, skydived one time and just fell in love and just kind of kept wanting to fly, fly my body. Really, I'm always trying to find something that's the next big thing, the next thing that's just more entertaining. Today is just like a warm-up day. We're gonna shake off the dust, you know, just go fly with friends, you know, get ready for the big day. Before the cars were shipped from College Station to Arizona, we spent at least 300 hours. They had to go through a, a full teardown where we had to take all the fluids out and make them safe for the desert. Rip out the transmission, rip out the engine, rip out the fuel tank, reinforce the frame so that we could put a metal sub bottom so that the vehicle would become aerodynamic. My name is Steve Curtis, C-U-R-T-I-S. I've probably thrown 12 cars or more out of planes. My name is Sarah Curtis. I am the wife of Steve Curtis. It's Constantine contacted us and more specifically Steve to help him safely throw cars out of a plane. Somebody stole the radio two days ago from Steve's house. Well, yeah, dude, I mean, it's... No, I'm serious. Somebody stole the radio. Have you checked Craigslist? Steve Curtis uh, pulls up to the vehicles and he sees somebody in it. He, th he thought it was somebody from our group. I show up later that evening and I see the wires in the dashboard. Somebody ripped the stereo out of the cars. Oh, that was really cool, man. I was really stoked, you know, Constantine to, to invite me out here. And it's quite a compliment. Got me involved in some other things before. Um, and yeah, you've seen a lot of the stuff and I did. And I went out to a junkyard in Bryan College Station and just measured hundreds of cars, trying to find the right one. And we put in hundreds of hours just trying to prep it and doing this, doing that. Whenever we could after work or we'd show up for a few days and do a whole lot. Well, we just loaded the car up and uh, got the got final preparations, uh, some sharp edges covered so that we don't get injured in case we flip out of the car as we exit or in free fall. So we're not exactly sure how the car is gonna react in free fall. The impact area we're looking for, which is based on not endangering the power lines and canal, better to be eased. We're getting closer to the time when we're gonna jump, so any anxiety that I have is getting heightened a little bit, but then the same goes with the excitement. They go hand in hand, so I'm getting a little bit more excited as we get closer. <laughs> How come that car looks so big now? <laughs> so I got involved in this project because my husband is Constantine and it's been a dream of his for a really long time, probably 10 years since he started skydiving, to do a car jump. And he has been talking about it ever since I met him. <laughs> hey, I'm ready for it. Like I really, I'm looking forward to it. Cause um, I've been waiting for to do this 10 years. It took me a while to organize it, you know, get all the people on the same page. But I get to do it with my friends. It's gonna be sick. Yeah, we got two of them. We got like a little Honda Civic and like a Nissan Sentra. Yeah, dude, they're sick. They're painted straight out of fearing loathing, bro. Like, we're going straight through backcountry in this shit. I'm Larry Hack. I got into skydiving about four and a half years ago. Life brings so many distractions and being able to focus on one thing at a time is my happy place. Getting up there in the clouds with my friends and holding hands and looking at the scenery, uh, that's when I'm at most peace. Uh, in this stunt, it was more, I was more worried about my friends. I wanted to make sure that everybody went home at the end of the day. 
because we did jump with a metal beast. So it's actually like happening, huh? Yeah, I'm feeling pretty good about it now. Yeah. It's, uh, I don't know, with all the prep that we've done and everything, seems like, uh, I mean, you never know, but I'm feeling pretty good about it. Uh, I'm a little concerned, yeah. I mean, I think there's definitely some risk involved and just the unknown, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. I think it's gonna be fun. You gotta get a good night's sleep, huh? Yes. Oh yeah, America! Should I go wake him up? Larry. Oh. Is he still sleeping? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Two days forecast is lots of fun. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh shit! I'm getting out of the way of this. <laughs> That's like, we'll just label it Slayer. Because just America, I think, is like too. too oh, it's too, it's too American for you. Uh, it needs to be fuck yeah. <laughs> like, what about America? Okay, America is awesome. That's a face slap. Face rate. You don't think we're going to find a marker this early in the morning? Yeah, just right. saying. Um, two groups, but the first one is we're going to have. Um, Curtis is going to push out the, the water heater for the first one, and then he's going to do um, five seconds later. He's he's jumping with uh, with his prop. So for the and then we're going to have the ground crew that's going to spot, and we're going to see the difference between the both. The rocket is it weighted or anything? It's going to be fat. It's going to be head downish. Okay. Uh, the winds are forecast slower. to be straight out of the east. This is what I've got. That means you, everybody who's in free fall is going to want to fly either north or south. Right in this triangle here is where we usually shoot for. Scott, how do you think about what could be going wrong, what, what could go right, and kind of just preparing. That's how I, my mind works as I go through and I think of the skydive and what's different avenues that it could take.
Yeah! Fucking perfect! It went out and rocked a little bit, and then just got in this nice steady rock, and it rocked all the way down to maybe, maybe 9,000 feet, and all of a sudden it just sort of stood on end and whipped out from underneath us like you, you fell off a skateboard. It was sweet. That was amazing. That was better than I could have hoped for. That was so awesome. Never Except have I ever jumped a car out of an airplane. Eh, lost that game. It was beyond amazing. I could have, it was surreal. Wow, just wow. I have no words. It's just beyond my expectations. Tom didn't get to get in the car. He's going to make his appearance. <laughs> and I did. You made it. Oh, I made it in the car. We were like, I was like, hold on. Dude, I went over because I look at Curtis on exit. I'm like, how long are we holding on? He goes, as long as we can. As soon as we got out, all of a sudden just, whoop, bam, it went so nose heavy. When we landed and I realized that we'd pulled the stun off, I was really surprised actually. I did not think the car would fly that well. And when it did, I was really happy about it. Um, it's always good when something goes off without a hitch. We all landed together, high-fived, everything's good. We come up to the car on the ground, and there's just this pile. It's just basically like, a, like an accordion compressed together, folded up. You know, you got a strut coming up this way from the car. You've got a disc brake on that launched, you know, 50 yards that direction. It's amazing how much energy was transferred into the Earth. I was euphoric. I felt like I was on top of the world. I don't think I felt that way uh, ever. Yeah. Yeah. Can, I get a, can, I, can I get America on three? One, two, three. America! Of course I wanted to do it, but I wanted to do it with my tribe. And you got to do that, man. And I, I, get it, I got to do it. I, it was amazing. That's awesome. I see it. You do? Is it straight? It's, it should be right along here. Yeah, it might yeah. be okay. Just open it gently. Nope. The moment of truth. Ah, careful. Careful. Gently. Yeah! yeah. yeah. SD cards in town? Yeah. You can go over top of this. Yeah. Sure. You know, it's going to be hard to. It's going to be hard to, but yeah. <laughs> you know, we'll, we'll top it. We'll find something to. But this is, this definitely so far takes the cake by far. <laughs>